Ashley, our AMC me, and we're back with episode six of Marry My Husband. Episode six starts off where five left. So it starts with Ji Hyuk looking at Ji Won and him passing out. It immediately cuts to Suman, and she's like creeping around the corner because nobody knew she was in Jiwon's neighborhood because she was coming to see what she thought was going to be like an explosive fight. And she sees Parkman Juan sitting on a curb looking pathetic and pitiful. So. She puts on her lipstick and fixes up her hair and then hails a taxi. Okay. She's not supposed to be there. Uh, <laughs> and she tells the taxi driver, hey, um, do you see that guy right there? Can you go drive to, that's where I need you to drive me to. Less than, I don't even know, 20 steps away. But it's all part of her master plan. So she rushes out of the taxi, acting like she's so concerned. And she like, when she, I should say when she got in the taxi, she unbuttoned her shirt. She unbuttoned like three buttons on her shirt. And gets out the taxi concerned and like squats down and lean, leans forward in front of Minwan. I'm like, oh... And she like holds his face and she's like, oh my, did you get hurt? And he's like looking at her with these, his pathetic eyes like, oh, she's so caring and sweet. Unlike Jiwon, who should be here nursing my wounds, even though I just assaulted her, sir. <laughs> so then after that, um, it cuts back to the hospital and Jiwon is sitting beside Ji Hyuk <clears throat> while he's laying in the hospital bed. And he wakes up. The doctor comes over and he's like, perfect, you just woke up. So um, basically, your body just shut down. Uh, his brain basically just told his body to go to sleep. Uh, he was He's lacking sleep. He hasn't been eating properly. And he's been drinking. The doctor's like... You probably have digestive issues too, so we should take a look at that. And he like sits up. He's like, "No, you should check her for digestive issues." Poke, uh, pointing at um, Jiwon because in her previous life she had stomach issues and ended up having gastric cancer. And she's like, "No, no, I'm fine." And he is like, "No, you should really get that checked out." She's like, "No, I'm fine." I had a CAT scan done. They said it's just uh, gastric, um, like stomach cramps, nothing serious. It's just from stress. The stress of her two, her shitty boyfriend and her shitty best friend. That's what the stress is from. And the doctor and Ji Hyuk look at her like, hmm? You know, people don't just get CAT scans to get CAT scans. And she squints at him after he says she should get checked. Like, how do you know I have stomach issues? And he was like, I just see you taking a lot of digestive aids at work. And she squints at him like, sure. <laughs> um, and then it cuts back to... Uh, Min Juan and Suman and they're in an alley and he has her pushed up against uh, the wall and he has like his hand up over her head and they're like staring at each other and he tries to go in for a kiss and she like pushes him back and she tells him no she's like what about Jiwon trying to act like she really cares about her we know she don't. She's trash. Um, and then she's like, I can't be too easy. <laughs> so she like squats down 
Well, no, first she looks sad. And then she like drops down to her knees and starts crying. And Min Hyuk's like, you dummy, don't feel bad. And he like rubs her, wipes her tears away with his thumb. Ew. <laughs> and um, she was like, this, we can't do this. This is bad. And he like hugs her and they just take a taxi back to Suman's place. And Suman gets out the taxi, not expecting Minhwan to quickly get out the taxi too. And she like smirks and she's like, mm, he's getting out the taxi here. This is what I've been waiting for. Like, just hurry up and cheat so she has an excuse to break up with you. I feel like he would still probably, well, I feel like he would still probably try to hit her if she tried to still tried to break up with him but we'll see we'll see how this plays out and um then it cuts back to Jiwon and Jihyuk and they're leaving the hospital and she's just like um bidding him farewell and he stops her and he's like he tells her he's like um, I'm a really good person I know you can't you don't you can't know that now and silently she is like he is a good person and she's just like I don't know if I can trust somebody again and start over and she was like Min Hwan her current boyfriend she's like he's your subordinate and it I'm gonna be in an awkward situation now after what happened when he tried to assault her and uh, Ji Hyuk came in and broke it up and he says you shouldn't be in an awkward situation he said he should be treating you better then he goes to hail a cab for her and while they're wait well while the cab's like on the way he was like he should always treat you better and thoughtfully and carefully and he like opens the door to the cab before he tells her to get in he says he won't do anything she doesn't want to do and she just has to say no and she's immediately about to shut shit down and he was like i want you to think about it i want you to just think about it and then after you've finally decided if you tell me no i won't pursue anything he tells her choosing him would be the best choice but he just wants her to again think about it and think about it positively and then he tells her to get in the cab he was like don't worry i'm not gonna get in with you and he gets his own cab and has his cab follow her cab back to her neighborhood because his car is there but he didn't want to make her feel uncomfortable after everything that just happened and telling her he liked her like three times then it cuts to the next morning and ji hyuk's at his place and he's just sitting at the dining room table i don't think he slept all day or i don't think he slept all night um but we see the cat i know what the cat's name could because they tell it in the comic but they haven't said it yet in the show so i'm not going to say it yet and um the cat's just meowing like trying to get his attention this cat has like the best little um cat area if i was a cat i'd be happy his alarm goes off on his phone and he gets up and starts to get ready for work and it cuts to jiwon and she's like she didn't sleep all day or she didn't sleep all night either all day she didn't sleep all night either and she's getting ready for work and right before she leaves she puts on perfume remember when uh, min Juan last episode was like do you have on perfume and she said no i don't know if she had put it on or not or if she's like if this fucker's gonna accuse me i might as well wear it it doesn't say or they don't tell you and then on the way to work inho her high school crush the chef he texts her and says i have coffee for you and she meets him outside of work and while she's grabbing the coffee from him and they're talking, Ji Hyuk sees him totally jelly. You can tell. Um, and it cuts to him at his desk at work. And he, uh, he Yuan texts everyone. She's like, hey, everybody, don't try to stand out. The boss is in a bad mood. And um, everybody's like, what do you mean? He looks the same as he always does. And Ji Yuan's like, is it my fault? And she was like, he Yuan would know because it's her brother. So she would know if he's in a bad mood. And uh, Juran looks at Jiwon and she's like, actually, you look like you're the one that you 
aren't feeling well. Are you okay? And she's like, yeah, I'm fine. Um, and then Suman comes into the office right after. And our girl has a new hairstyle. She had like soft waves in her hair up into this point. But now her hair is like stick straight and she's got a little bang. Is this indicating she's moving further into her villain era? I do not know. But it's the same hair she had in Jiwon's previous life when she was cheating went with uh, Min Hwan and Jiwon subtly I think picks up on it um, and then right after she comes in Min Hwan comes storming in throwing his uh, briefcase and everything around causing a ruckus because he's still mad about yesterday and he's like glaring at Jiwon and Ji Hyuk, Ji Hyuk sees him in his office acting like a total ass and it cuts to Min Wan on the roof and he's about to light a cigarette and Ji Hyuk's like there's no smoking allowed up here and um Min Wan like puts it out and he, then he was like wait hold up <clears throat> he's like first of all what is your deal and he was like there's a no dating policy here and Min Wan's like what that's so outdated and archaic and Ji Hyuk's like well it's never been an issue but it's an issue now because it's causing um, disturbance at work and he's like the way that you came into work was an issue because we both know it was because you had an issue with Jiwon the previous night Minwon again he's like this is a private issue why does it matter and uh, he was like and what were you doing there in the first place and he pulls out his phone and it has a GPS and it has the warehouse highlighted that was that's in Jiwon's neighborhood and he was like I was here for work and I saw a subordinate that looked like they were in trouble so i came to help like perfect alibi and he was like some people or some people no matter what their age they still act like a child or a boy is what he said and he was like and boys like that shouldn't be in relationships he was like so i think it would be best for you to break up with jiwon and men <laughs> <laughs> Min Juan is totally flabbergasted like hold up who are you to tell me about my relationship and that I should break up and uh, Jin Hyuk, uh, Ji Hyuk's like you know would it be better if I just said I have feelings for her and you're not good enough for her and he's like what and then he's like you know could, do you know the time and Ji Hyuk's like what or Min Juan's like what again and Ji Hyuk grabs his <laughs> grabs his wrist like how he grabbed um Ji Wan's last night and he like bends it so he can see the time he's like oh it's 11 30 and he said what I said he said in the previous episode he didn't say anything when he pushed him up onto the um jungle gym and he was holding him up he didn't say anything he was just glaring at him and this time he says don't ever threaten her don't ever touch her and you're gonna forget about what happened last night like quit pouting uh, like for a bait at a like a baby because this is all your fault anyway and then he lets go of him and then he walks back he walks back to um his office and then it cuts to Min Hwan sitting in the actual designated smoking area and Ji Wan comes up to him and she asks him like how he's doing he was like you know you're really starting to piss me off he's like but I just want to apologize for last night changes they will not be permanent i'm sure because he's he's trash and says that ji hyuk was out of line or no then he says that um violence is out of line and that he would never do anything to hurt her her previous life says that's a lie um and he's like but then he like touches her ear he like he strokes her ear and he was like i should discipline you what are you christian gray i don't think our girl uh again consented for that and then he just like walks away or and he walks back to the office with Jiwon and while he's they're doing that he's thinking how can I find to find something to pin on Ji Hyuk he's like Jiwon's perfect marriage material Ji Hyuk is getting in the way of that so sounds like he does plan on popping the question I don't know when or if it really will happen um and Jiwon, while she, there, she's walking back, she's thinking, what happened that he's like over it and he's not pouting and giving me a hard time? Because she went, when she went out there, that's what she thought was going to happen. And Jiwon asks him, she was like, so did you head right home last night? It cuts to Suman and Min Hwan outside of Suman's apartment. And um, she opens like the little gate to get to her apartment. 
and closes it behind her. And then she says she likes being with him, but this is difficult. Like this is a difficult situation. So she opens the little gate again and she's like, but for once I want to do what I want to do. Like that isn't what she's been doing her whole life. And she goes to kiss him on the cheek. And then she heads back up to her apartment. She's like, thanks for bringing me home. And it cuts back to Jiwon. And he was like, yeah, of course I headed back home. But as soon as he says that, Jiwon's like, sure, I highly doubt that. But she doesn't say anything because she knows something happened. The hair, Suman's hair, I think that's what she like. She's seen that and then she asked that and the puzzle pieces are like starting to come together. Well, they go back to their desk and Ji Hyuk comes out of the office and Ji Won sees him and she it replays in her head what he said about him saying, I like you. And she bows to him and after he passes by, her shitty boss, we finally... Somebody finally said his name and I paid attention. It's Mr. Kim. He tells her, hey, you and Juran, let's go out to lunch. And he's like super excited and you don't know why. And she turns to look at Minwon and she's like, you heard him right. I won't be able to go to lunch with you. And right after she says that, he immediately looks at Suman a little too happy. And Jiwon picks up on it and Suman's like, I can't. She's like, I'm not really hungry. I think I'm just going to drink some coffee and be by myself and she wants like no that's we can't have that she's like you're just too skinny you're gonna melt away um minwan you need to take her out to eat and she is like here i'll even pay and she gives them her credit card suman's like i guess and she's like okay i'll see you guys and she goes off to lunch with juran and he looks at her like steak and she's like <laughs> all shy like okay ew and then it cuts to lunch with the boss and here he goes again being gross you know how they give you the like the warm towels like clean your hands off he like wipes his face with it tries to wipe under his arms while he has his shirt on while they're at a restaurant and he tells them that the director uh wang hyung ying the guy that jiwon met at that marketing conference the one that's an ass and like was hitting his subordinates on the head. He, he belittles them and while well, because they were eating sushi and he was like, you guys really don't know how to eat sushi, do you? Who uses chopsticks? Civilized people. Okay. Unlike you, we know how you eat chicken. We know how you eat in general. Remember when he licks those chopsticks and then gave Suman food with them? And remember when he licked his fingers and tore that chicken off? And gave it to Suman and not take any kind of etiquette classes from him. Jiwon, he tells Jiwon that her proposal is sloppy. He's going to lend her his name to get the ball moving quickly on the proposal and the whole project. And she's like, what? And he says that they should change the whole idea and use a famous chef's name so they can push the launch faster. And Jiwon um, says that that's not a good idea, that it was supposed to be from famous restaurants meals that are there people can make convenient meals for themselves at home with this meal kit kind of like hello fresh and he is like he tells her she's acting foolish and stubborn and she's out and she's like what jiwon gets upset like wait what and she's like but that's my proposal and he's like your proposal that belongs to the company why are you acting so selfish and he was like hand over your project to juron and suman you're off you're off the project. Juwon is gobsmacked, okay? Like, she doesn't know what to say. And then it cuts to Minhwan and Suman going out to eat. And they go to this expensive looking restaurant for lunch. And Minhwan tries to flex, right? He's trying to flex on Juwon's credit card or Juwon's money for another girl, right? And he's trying to act like he's so sophisticated to the waiter saying, yeah, my usual and the waiter's like, okay, whatever. What kind of wine do you want? <laughs> and while he's like looking at the guy, he's trying to look like he knows exactly what he's saying. Suman's eating it up, thinking how sophisticated that he is. And he's the best guy that Jiwon has ever met, maybe in her previous life. And he's still not the best guy that she met then, as we can tell from the last episode when she met Ji Hyuk way before she met him. He, and while they're eating, he asks her, if she slept well last night and she was like i couldn't sleep at all lies they cut to her knock the hell out um not even hearing her alarm clock go off and then she asks him he lies too and he wakes up from his he wakes up from his alarm clock and he's like <laughs> 
all sloppy. I just hate him. Then it goes back to the restaurant and G wants no um G wants no longer at the table. It's just Mr. Kim and uh Juran and she's asking him if it's really okay for him to do that because she thinks it's wrong. He said, "Well, he needed to take her off because there're just too many people because they need to add the director's name onto the proposal." And Juran is like, she's so shocked. She's just like sitting there staring at him, and he has to like clap his hands to bring her back to reality. He was like, "Um, so do you want uh do you want to get promoted over you? Because we can take you off and put her back on." And Juran can't even answer him and then it cuts to Jiwon at work and she's going back into the office and she gets a charge from her bank saying they spent 34,000 34 hundred thousand won three hundred dollars uh and usd let me check might not be that much my big 200 and something yeah 253 dollars and 28 cents of her money he spent to woo her so-called best friend for lunch it's not even dinner this is lunch and she's like pissed she was like who the fuck does he think he is and when she sees that it gives her the to resolve to stop letting people walk all over her because like yeah she's been slowly starting to get more gain more confidence but she's still letting them treat her like trash so like when suman grabbed her arm and said if you're mad at me then we can just talk this out and then her boss taking her name off of her proposal that she worked all hard on and then it goes to huang qn the director the crappy guy um mr kim the shitty boss said they had to put his name on the proposal um did i mention that he's basically his cousin and that's how they're connected but it cuts to his office and he's showing the proposal that m mr kim supposedly came up with and it's the meal kit idea that he remembers jiwan telling him about that day when they were waiting for um min Juan and suman to leave her apartment so she didn't have to talk to them after the whole reunion fiasco he even brings up the idea that Ji Hyuk should promote Mr. Kim, shitty boss, after this whole thing because this is a really good idea. He's checked with the development team and they think it's a go-to. Ji Hyuk's like, oh, sure, I'll, I'll think, I'll look into it. And he goes to get on the elevator. When he leaves the office, the director, he's like, why is he always so stiff? Is he like the CEO's son or grandson or something? And he's like, oh like a light bulb went off while he's waiting for the uh, elevator ji hyuk t texts ji Wan and he's like hey what happened to that proposal you told me about and she's like i'm working hard on it and he asks her if she has plans for later and she's like well i'm gonna be working late and he's like well this is important so i need you to make time all right so he tells her hey if this is important make time and ji Wan's about to you know she's about to turn him down and he's like don't worry it's not a date it's like it's not a date so don't worry and it cuts to them in the car going somewhere. He says that he knows she's not going to ask him for help, but he wants to be helpful. And she tells him th that she's uncomfortable. And he was like, "It's there's no price. I'm not going to ask anything of you for this. And she was like, if, he's like, if it bothers you that much, just think of it as your boss helping you out. And they end up at the martial arts area that Ji Hyuk was at earlier when he was fighting with Dong Suk episodes ago. It's Dong Suk, and then we learn with the other guy with the curly hair. We learn his name, and he's Sinyu. Sinyu? Sinyu? And Dong Suk, he's like, he tells Ji Wan she's as pretty as the first t uh, time they met, and she's like, huh? And Ji Hyuk's like, like, don't mention that. And Jiwon says through a smile, what are we, what are we doing here? And he gives her outfit to put on. The, she comes back out. She sees um, Ji Hyuk flip Song Nu or Sin Yu, And then she's in front of Dong Suk. He t gives her like a quick lesson. He's like, we're going to be learning judo and it's all based on physics. You just have to grab and flip he's like so now we're gonna practice it and he lets her grab him and when she goes to flip nothing happens and he was like tell he tells her ji hyuk tells her to yell louder it doesn't doesn't work she does it two more times and then she was 
she figures she's like this isn't working so she stands back in front of dong's sook and she was like resets herself and then she does it again and she immediately flips him she yells for real this time and they get excited and they're about to like do a high five ji hyuk grabs him before they like <laughs> they make contact and he steps in as her partner for like the practical part of it and he tells her first step as soon as you step on the mat the only thing you need to think is you're gonna win. He tells her to grab him like she did with Dong Suk. He easily gets out of it and she gets annoyed. And he was like, your opponent will know. Your opponent sometimes won't let you just grab them. And then she tries to flip him and he maneuvers out of it and grabs her before she can fall. She, he was like, sometimes your component, your opponent will know what your next move is or won't let you flip them. And she tells him, I'm gonna flip you. It doesn't work. And he's like, sometimes when you get on the mat, you can't, I might. He's like, you have to think you can. And he's like, I will flip. He's like, that's what you need to think. Um, he's like, some he's like, and then sometimes you don't even always need to help. Sometimes you can ask for help. And I think he's like talking about himself. Like, I know you don't want to ask for help, but you can ask me. She just, she is determined and she like charges at him and she takes her foot and while she has him like falling backwards she kicks his feet out behind him and they like fly into the air and she, uh she falls on top of him and she's like happy she got him she got him down she's like i did it and she's cheering and shit and she's like excited and she's like did you see did you, i flipped you she's like you let your guard down didn't you and um when she's looking at him she thinks of the the guy that drunken night the blurry vision of him beside her when she woke up and he just smiles and he like pats her head and he's like good job and he gets up and they go to leave and his friends are like don't you think he um he gave in too easily he was like did you see how high he jumped up in the air he's like he told me to be hard on her what is this and that cuts to the next morning and Jiwon's at the copier and she's thinking of how she can try to flip the manager. She's printing out an updated version of the proposal and she's included the points that he made when they were at lunch and she gives it to him and she apologizes for getting upset about what happened uh, what she said at lunch and he gives her the proposal that he's been using as his when we know it's hers and she's he was like well if you take both these proposals and include your information into it maybe i can change i'll change my mind and suman overhears this at her desk and she like smirks and laughs and then it goes to the they have a separate break area there i don't know if that's um that's always the thing in korea but there's a women's waiting area or break room that's the same break room the boss broke into what busted into last episode and told them all to get back to work and had uh jiwan move his car for him and she's sitting with he yon and she's like apologizing to her saying hey i wanted you to be a part of this proposal she was like but even i might not be a part of it now he yawns like so they want to put suman on it and she's like yeah and she's tell it she asks her she's like are you going to do what he says and she's like i don't think he's gonna do he's gonna do anything that he says he will if i go through with what he wanted me to do and she was like i just need to find a way to basically get him to pay for what he did but jiwon's like i have this cake here as an apology for not being able to include you in the proposal for um like the project and when he you on taste it tastes it she her uh taste buds like explode and she has this picture of cows like jumping around in a field it's really cute she's telling uh her oh this was from my friend his name's inho and right when she says that he calls and she was like oh we we're just talking about you and he yon is like telling him like how fantastic his dessert is he tells her that he actually made all of the desserts i think in the picture or in the scene there's like four different desserts and he sent all of those 
to Jiwon's office and that's why he was calling to make sure that she got him. Jiwon tells Hyeon again, he's like, Hu Yuan, she's like, I don't, he's not going to add me back onto this proposal. I need to find a way to bring him down. He Yuan asks, she's like, where's Juran at? Because it's usually those three all together. It cuts to Suman, Juran hanging out together. They were out together for lunch. Suman's like, I'm sorry if this is going to make you feel uncomfortable. I know that you wanted to do this with Hu Yuan and Jiwan. And she was like, Suman's um, even tries to say that Jiwan's being unreasonable and she's un not flexible and she's too uptight and she needs to like loosen up. Juran's like, oh, Suman, you're such a good friend. And right after she says that, she loops her hand. She loops her arm through Juran's like how she used to do to Jiwan. She was like, she's not very, she's like, I'm not very smart. And I was like, when I seen that part, I was like, she's looking for another victim because it's not working on Jiwan or she knows she's she's trying to get her, she's trying to use her to get take away another friend from Jiwon. Juran feels uncomfortable and she like mm, she's like no you're not dumb she's like you're actually pretty clever and that's needed in a work environment especially in a group project and Suman's like okay let's work hard together and then she has this like creepy smile and that's that's where it makes me think like is she gonna be using her as her next supply because she's like um next person for her to try to manipulate while jiwan's at her desk she's like thinking about the incident with uh the the director when he was on the plane and she's like i can how can i use this to my benefit while she's thinking about that suman and juran walk in and suman calls out to jiwan jiwan she's like hey i got I got us some desserts and she sees Juran and her, they make eye contact and um, they just acknowledge each other. And I think Jiwon notices Suman and Juran are getting close. Jiwon, Suman, Juran, Hyu Yeon, and Minwon all in the break room. Suman pushes one of the desserts to Jiwon and he, she was like, for our flower. And Minwon gives this like stupid laugh and Juron again says oh you take you always take good such good care of Juwon there's like this subtle look between Suman and Juron after she says that and Juron says to Jiwon hey if there's any ideas that you have about your proposal can you tell us before you tell Mr. Kim just so that we can keep abreast she looks at them me personally I think when they were outside Suman whispered something about this to Juran and that's why she brought it up in front of everybody like that but Ji Hyuk walks into the break room um to go get something and he overhears Jiwon saying oh I was thinking of a marketing idea and I think we should put the director as the face of the product I don't think we should go with a celebrity chef he's really well known He's good for, he's known for having, um, he's just as famous as a celebrity chef, but he has the backing well known for his great taste. So I think we should use him as like the mascot for the meal kits. Ji Hyuk overhears that and he looks like, cause he knows what the, about the director. Everybody's like, oh, that's a really good idea. And they go through this montage of it getting approved by everybody. Um, Shitty boss, Mr. Kim approves it. Ji Hyuk, knowing that Jiwon is up to something and him supporting her, he signs off on it. It goes to the shitty director. He signs off on it. And then it goes to um, the grandpa, Ji Hyuk's grandpa. And he looks through the proposal, sees that everybody else signed it, and he signs off on it. And it goes through another montage of the advertising of um, the director going through all these places to get his face out, them doing taste tests, having people vote on which, um, which of the meal kits they like best. It cuts to the director's office again, and he's watching a video of himself like giggling, um, and you can see his head like growing to like the size of his office and he gets a knock at the door and it's Mr. Kim shitty boss and he's 
like you wanted to see me and he was like it's only up for here from here for us and they're like bragging about such what such a great idea they had and how this is going to push them to the upper echelons in the company and just in general it cuts to him asking mr kim how did you come up with the fantastic idea to put me as basically the mascot and it cuts to Jiwon giving everybody the great idea to put him as the mascot. And he, of course, he takes credit for it. Then it cuts to Jiwon at work on a different day. She's staring at the uh, something on the company profile with the director saying that he's going to be going on a trip soon. The flight incident. Min Hwan pops up and he's like, what are you doing? And she like closes everything out real quick. And Su Min pops up next. She's like, we got chicken. Um, and they tell her, just forget about the proposal. You've been working too hard. It's water under a bridge. Something will happen. You'll get something better. Well, they didn't even say anything that nice. They're just like, forget about it. You've been working too hard. And Suman's like, we haven't been hanging out. Uh, we brought some chicken. So let's all just hang here and um, since it's been a while and eat. And they go to get the chicken and open it up. And Jiwon notices immediately. She's like, um, uh, soy sauce flavored chicken which is Suman's favorite. And Min Hwan was the one that picked, went and picked up the chicken. And she was like, oh, you know what? I actually have a meeting. Cause she figures, she was like, I knew something was going. She's like, something's about to happen between these two. Let me extricate myself from this situation. She's like, I actually have a meeting. So I can't hang out with you guys. And she's like, Min Hwan, remember the last time we were here together, we sat over in that area so we could enjoy the night view. Min Hwan's like, oh yeah, that was a great night. And Su Min's like, oh, that's so great. I want to do that. And Ji Won's like, oh, you can do that tonight. You guys can go over there. She's like, well, I got to go. And she leaves. And then it cuts to the director uh, getting on the plane and he gets a phone call. It's Jiwon. And she was like, I was just calling you because I wanted to let you know that I was actually the one that came up with this whole proposal. And the fact that you guys are removing me from it, I'm upset and I'm basically going to report you. And he starts to flip out. He was like, who do you think you are? How did you even get my number? And he's yelling while people are on the plane, cussing throwing shit around and he hangs up on her and he goes to find his seat and he gets upset and he calls the stewardess over and he's like what the fuck is this and she's like what do you mean this is the seat that you picked he was like i asked for a seat with no one i want to i want this whole row to myself she's like well this is the seat that you picked i'm not sure what you want me to do because if when you look at the flight like the because they're in first class, of course, but there's areas on the side where you can sit by yourself if that's what you want. He picked a seat in the middle where there's two seats. He just expected nobody to be in the other seat. He should have bought that seat too then. He hits her over the head with the paper he's holding. And he was like, do I have to do your job for you? And she goes in the back and she goes to get her other manager. And while he's coming out, He's on the phone calling Mr. Kim saying, hey, why is Jiwon calling me? And Mr. Kim's like, wait, she called you? He's like, yeah. Um, so she was the one who came up with the proposal. He was like, I'm going to need you to rip her to pieces. I don't know who she thinks she is, but this is not going to fly. And he hangs up on him. And the um, manager over business class comes over and he was like, hey, um, before, but before that, actually, before he actually comes over, he asked the stewardess to come back. And he's like, were you laughing at me? And she's like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. And then the manager comes over. He was like, oh, it's OK. I'll I'll can I'll train her. Um, I'll be taking over for for you for now. He and he pushes the seat back to like relax. And the guy's like, I'm sorry, sir. Um, your seat has to be in the upright position for um, before takeoff. And he was like, what are you trying to tell me what to do? And bonks him on the head. Like, sorry. And bonks him on the head with the paper too. And the guy's like, sir, it is against the law for you to assault flight crew. And flight like flight crew and he's like what i'm just gently hitting you on the head while he's going like this 
and the other stewardess the one that he originally hit she like looks to him for confirmation and he shake he goes like this real quick like yeah uh call the flight the marshals the flight marshals and they drag his ass out and i'm like yes and it cuts to breaking news everywhere that he's been uh, um he got arrested all the uh, new meal kits that they the whole meal kit idea trashed they're disposing of everything he is not gonna be <laughs> anywhere near it so in there he's even in in the articles that come out it says he's even saying rip g1 uh kang g1 to pieces and it cuts to uh juran at work at her computer looking at the articles and she's like oh and they show Suman and she's like, like, God dang it. Now it's going to happen. And in the articles, they say that he got dismissed immediately, like fired. And then after it cuts to Jiwan and she's up on the patio area and she's watching the news article or she's watching the news and she's like laughing and like dancing because her idea, like her, her flip, it worked. And while she's like, doing that she found she f looks through um spotify and she pulls up bts and she plays one of their songs and while she's like celebrating ji hyuk comes up to her and scares the crap out of her and he's like oh i'm, so I'm really sorry i just wanted to say good job um mr kim's going to be disciplined um for stealing her proposal she goes to say something to him and she drops her phone um because she bumps into him and he picks it up he starts to pick it up, but she grabs it and she gets her headphones. But he sees that it's on BTS and he's like, I like BTS too. And she was like, yeah, I was looking for dynamite. And then he's like, he really likes spring day. And when he says that, Jiwon just has a montage of all the times he's just been there perfectly for every single issue that she's had since she's came back. And it flashes back to him their current time or him smiling at her and his smile slowly starts to fade because he's like shit i fucked up he says did did you say dynamite and she said did you say spring day and it they're just staring at each other and over the top of them it says dynamite came out in 2020 <laughs> which is the song Jiwon mentioned. And Spring Day came out in 2017, the song Ji Hyuk mentioned. It's currently 2013. They both inadvertently spilled the beans on them being from the future. And it cuts to the end of the episode. It was so funny. Like every episode, it just keeps getting better and better and better. I really liked how they had a slip up because you know when you go in the past you don't think about stuff like that and i'm happy that it it was actually like they're both too shocked to try and come up with an excuse like oh yeah um i found it like it's a secret song somebody posted <laughs> they were just both like uh what oh like the spider-man where they're like pointing at each other g1 she had like three different outfits i think this episode and they all looked fabulous she had the outfit that she had from episode five which was actually a dress and she wore a blouse underneath it it wasn't just a skirt she has on that pantsuit with the shoulder out with the ruffles and that was that was amazing as well and then she wears actually it's three out four outfits she wears um another pantsuit and it has like the white ruffles around the edges and she wears it with like some uh i think it's like they were white or flesh colored heels point pointy toe heels and she has the top it's like a cream beige dark beige top that she wears when she leaves suman and min Juan at work so they can enjoy their chicken and i think it's like a boat cut top and that looks really good as well actually it's five and then on the rooftop she has on this really nice white dress you don't really get to see the front of it too well but it's like an a-line skirt and it looks fantastic i didn't really pay that much attention to ji hyuk ji hyuk's fashion he always wears suits but they're 
uh, classic suits, like nothing too crazy. Like, you know, some dramas, they'll have like a crazy pattern match with the crazy tie. All of his stuff is like, he's still dressing the same subtle way. It's just more updated and um, better fit. Finally, okay. I was like, if something doesn't happen to this crappy boss, I'm going to be highly upset. And finally, finally, karma caught up with his ass. I can't wait for Suman to be pissed because now that her uh, proposal she added herself onto for doing nothing is not going anywhere, she's still going to be a contract employee. Oh, Suman and Minhuan, they got enough rope to hang themselves. Hopefully, they fully complete the cheating next week. I want to know what's going to happen with Jiwon and uh, Ji Hyuk since they both know now that they're both from the future. Are they going to team up or are they going to like stay away from each other? I really want to know. I think it's so funny that they use BTS as the catalyst for them to reveal their secrets but yeah that was it was that episode was really good i'm so happy she got and you know what i forgot to mention i'm happy she took down the director he took himself down previously but i'm happy that she roped mr kim the shitty boss into it as well so it's like two birds with one stone and i hope that she has a lot more gumption and wherewithal to finally like when she had that kick in the pants when she got that um bill that got she got that charge from them eating on her uh with her credit card that um it's gonna stop playing around and actually telling these people that they're trash and that they need to leave her alone and go fuck off uh but i hope you enjoy the video and i hope you enjoy the rest of your week don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to. Um, and also check out my Twitch if you would like. I stream Sundays and Mondays. 10 a.m. on Sunday, 5 p.m. on Mondays, Eastern Standard Time. And I will see ya. Bye. I forgot to turn the lights on. Bye. <laughs>